Push forward! Reloading, cover me! He's hit! Watch your left! Hit the dirt to avoid that turret! Corporal Winston, how long is it going to take to get that dang radio fixed? Unless we can build new connections without getting sniped, we'll be waiting at least two days, Staff Sergeant. Blast you, Corporal. I told you to protect that radio with your life. Any good news, Sergeant? I'm afraid not, Staff Sergeant. Them green savages just keep coming. It's like our armored trucks aren't even there. We'll just keep those trucks protected. If we hold out for just a little longer, we should be able to hold this position. Ready? Fire! Charge! All forces retreat! All forces retreat! Private Baker, you and the radio team contact HQ. Let them know we've taken the Tan Army compound in Sherwood Meadows and the airspace is now safe. You got it, Sergeant. That's what you get for crossing us, you desert devils. They're desert devils and we're savages of the forest. How much longer will all this continue? Not the time to worry about that, Corporal. We can have philosophical discussions after we secure Kaismer Pass. That's what both sides have been saying for a decade, Sergeant. Have you forgotten what those desert devils did to the entourage we sent to the capital? First Lady Diana was nearly killed and her husband crippled by the ambush. I am well aware of the treachery committed by our enemy, Sergeant. And you fully remember I was not opposed to the war when I signed up. What I am opposed to is actively rejoicing over the deaths of our enemies just like the callous savages they say we are. I will never for the life of me understand why you of all people entered this army, Corporal. <laughs> If it turns out the battlefield becomes where I meet God, maybe I can ask him. Company, attention! At ease, Sergeant. You and your men have done good work here. Thank you, sir. General Thompson, this is Sergeant Price, one of our best platoon sergeants and soldiers in the Green Army, 7th Infantry Division. Good to meet you, Sergeant. The pleasure is all mine, General. Dismiss your platoon, Sergeant. Come with the General and I to give us the debrief. Of course, sir. Company! Dismissed! Once we took out their armored trucks, we were able to make short work of the compound. However, we lost a lot of good men during the battle, sir. I see. Your men fought well, Sergeant. Their service to our nation will not be forgotten. It is much appreciated, sir. I hate to broach this topic after such a fierce battle, but what is our next move, General Thompson? Now that we've gained control of the critical supply depot, our next objective is to seize Kaismer Pass. Once we do that, we'll be able to cut off supply lines to the Tan Capital, where our First Lady and President were nearly killed. What would you have my platoon and I do, sir? The first step will be an artillery bombardment of the hilltops around it. From there, we send in an advanced team to ensure there are no waiting ambush. If there is none, then our troops push forward and secure the pass. Sir, if I may, our radio is working just fine. Wouldn't it be prudent for us to call in air support during the push? Our invasion of the Tan Country is nationwide. If we divert our air support to aid us in securing the pass, it means sacrificing from other areas of the campaign. Sir, with all due respect, I fully understand that. But hasn't Wormwood Swamp been secured for quite some time? Surely they can spare at least one helicopter. We cannot afford to lose this position. We are taking Kaiser Pass on the ground. 
Sir, I... I've heard quite enough from you, Sergeant. That will be all. No, it won't be. We have the resources available to make it easier to take Kaisma Pass, and you sit here with four stars on your precious officer uniform dismissing it? These are my men's lives we're talking about here. What on earth is the matter with you, Sergeant? You think me callous to the lives of your men? Who do you think you are to accuse me of such a thing? I didn't say it. You did. Silence, Sergeant. Leave this room now. God. Arguing with the brass again? I swear all those higher brass are made from the same cloth. It's like their brain is replaced with a computer that has only one solution to every situation. That's enough! We have a guest here, Sergeant. And even if we didn't, this is no time for you to be venting your frustrations on your subordinates. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I understand your desire to get this operation done as quickly as possible with the least risk to your men, Sergeant, and I admire that. But you must also see the larger picture. Diverting air support is time-consuming and costly, and it's no guarantee that it would ensure a victory. I get that, sir. I'm sorry for speaking out of turn. Be patient and lead your men boldly, Sergeant. I'm confident in your leadership, and I'm sure your men will accomplish the task at hand. Hey, check this out, fellas. We got an intact civilian radio and some primetime liquor the Tans were holding for themselves. On that note, let them know that the liquor they found is off limits. Even assuming it's not poisoned, I will not stand for them being unalert and vulnerable to an ambush. Yes, yes sir. Very well. I will see General Thompson off. Carry on, gentlemen. I'm telling you, sir, we did everything we could to hold them off after they hit our tanks. So you say. Did you have barriers around the trucks to protect them? Yes, but the Greens flanked them and blew up the trucks before he had a chance to react. Sir, with all due respect, I think the Staff Sergeant has made it clear he and his men fought to the best of their ability. Hmm, I see. So, what is your plan now that we've been pushed back into this pass, Staff Sergeant? All of you, get over here right now! That is our plan. Does anyone have questions? No, First Sergeant! Good. Sergeant Mabry. Yes, Staff Sergeant. Delegate six soldiers to stay back with you and I. Will do, Staff Sergeant. Corporal Winston. Here, Staff Sergeant. Make sure the radio is ready to update HQ. We'll let them know when we've left the pass. On it, Staff Sergeant. Very well. The rest of you, get to work! Aye, First Sergeant! My dearest husband, I hope you and your men are well as you continue to weather the storm out on the front lines. I keep you in my heart always, but I still wish you were here with us. Josephine had her sixth birthday yesterday. It was so wonderful to see her smiling. Her and her friends from school had not a care in the world as they played with all her new gifts. I wish that could be the same for us. Always remember that I love you and we eagerly await your return after this war is over. Stay strong, my beloved. Your wife, Darla. Target number, Juliet Echo November 1001. Splash in five seconds. Come on now, everyone, you only live once. We're taking Kaiser Pass tomorrow. Ah, yes, that verse. Proverbs 8.17 I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. So basically, if I look for this god of yours with all my heart, eventually I will find him? 
Well, yes, but you need to start searching first and be open to what God shows you. So, this God is everywhere, right? Yes. Why? Even when I'm digging a cat hole because I gotta take a fat dump? <laughs> <sighs> yes, Roberta, even when you're digging a cat hole to take a dump. Now, if we take a look at this verse here... You forgot your own Bible again, didn't you, Corporal? It appears I have. A holy man without his holy book? Whatever will we do, Corporal? Corporal, take an advance team with you. Make sure the pass is clear before we go in. You got it, Sergeant. My squad and third squad, form up on me. We're gonna make sure the pass is clear. Move it! Open fire! Corporal Preacher! Lieutenant General, it looks like Sergeant Price is on his way back. Already? They killed Corporal Preacher, sir. They had another armored truck waiting for us as we entered the pass. At least half of the men who were with me are dead. I'm sorry, sir. There was nothing we could do. I understand, Sergeant. You did all you could. The important thing is you got the rest of your men out alive. I just wished Corporal Preacher had been among them. All of you, bolster the defenses as much as you can. Make sure the gunners have the ammunition they need. There's no telling when the Tans will counterattack. Get to work now! Sir, yes sir! Rest assured we will not give up the fight so easily, Sergeant. The deaths of your men will not be in vain. Thank you, sir. I just don't understand why Preacher had to be taken. He was the best out of all of us. He never let this violence cloud his character. Even in the middle of a war, he maintained his integrity and principles. How the hell do we replace that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Though I must say, the best candidate to replace him is standing in front of me right now. We just fought to hold back the Greens from taking this pass, and it ended in victory. Congratulations, Staff Sergeant. It seemed your plan worked. I suppose you'll be readying your men to retake Sherman Meadows next? If I may speak freely, sir, I'd like to suggest a different course of action. Come on, man. Why do we have to be stationed here of all places? I don't know, man. Just the brass's orders, I guess. Good morning, sir. Alpha Company, 1st Platoon. Formed and ready for inspection. Very well, Sergeant. We will proceed. Good morning, sir. Private Sterling. 0300 Infantry Reg-
First and second squads, you're with me on the ground. Third and fourth squads, take positions on the rooftops. Now! Fire! Good shot. Private Boris, radio our birds to move in for the airstrike. Will do, Staff Sergeant. Everyone, take cover! Come on, keep the pressure on! Enemy aircraft approaching, take cover now! I wouldn't do that. Well, I guess this is the part where you hogtie us before throwing us into the water, isn't it? <laughs> Good grief. I knew you tans hated us, but I didn't know it was this bad. What do you want, Forest Savage? To hopefully not have to kill you, Desert Devil. Cut the BS. Why are you really still letting us live? The other Tans we captured with you surrendered after you were knocked out. Despite what you Tans may think about us, we actually try to honor the Law of War. That's why you're alive right now. Not that complicated, really. Don't try and be magnanimous with me, green filth. My men have been fighting day in and day out against these savages to secure peace for our people back home. And so have mine. We've tried to peacefully coexist with you, but apparently we can't. That much was made clear with the assassination attempt of our president. Oh my, you're really blaming that on all of us? Not every last tan agrees with what happened that day. <laughs> First time I've heard of that. So, I guess that's how you Greens justified the bombardment of Drenberg City. Not just the troops, even the civilians. My commanding officer's family was in there, along with many other families of tan soldiers. And how the hell do you justify Kaismar Pass? Good men and women lost in an instant as your machine guns cut them down. My best squad leader was in that advance team. Do you even know why my unit never cruelly ravaged any tan survivors we came across? It's because that corporal always set the example for us, including me. Uh, I'm sorry. Back when No Man's Mesa got flattened by artillery, my platoon sergeant took us there to see the destruction for ourselves after the area had been retaken. Seeing the smoldering remains, the craters, it made the war a righteous cause to many of us. I see. The same thing happened to us when we heard of Drenberg. How about that? All of us falling victims to the same traps used by those in power on both sides. In a way, I suppose we're all just a bunch of devils and savages. Where are the other soldiers who were in my team? 
Those three soldiers are being guarded by my troops in another building. And the others who didn't make it? We buried them in a meadow east from here, properly. If you'd like, I can take you there. You'll be under guard, of course, but we can give you a chance to see it. Yes, I would like that. Thank you. No problem. By the way, I don't think I got your name? Staff Sergeant Harrison. You? Sergeant Price. Echo 8 Niner to Oscar 9 Papa. Our chopper is coming in now, sir. Oscar 9 Papa to Echo 8 Niner. We have visual confirmation of your chopper. I have ordered my men to stand down. You may begin your descent. can't exactly say I'm sad to leave. <laughs> Hopefully next time we meet, there's less fireworks, Staff Sergeant. Welcome back, Staff Sergeant. Good to be back, sir. Staff Sergeant Ridge. What? The name of the Green Staff Sergeant who ordered his artillery unit to strike Drenberg. He was demoted after the battle and later killed in Wormwood Swamp. I see. Thank you for letting me know, Harrison. Don't thank me, sir. Thanks, Sergeant Price. Thank you. 